take away my cards like someone help me okay hey guys and welcome back to my channel so for today's video we are going to be doing a gigantic drugstore makeup haul I don't normally do these on my channel just because I typically pick up one or two items here or there. I don't normally go too crazy, but lately I have been very into TikTok, very active on TikTok. If you don't follow me, it is at Taylor Elizabeth Style. I will have it linked down below. And I do a ton of drugstore content on my TikTok, rating drugstore makeup, quick reviews, best of brands, really quick short form makeup content. So if you're into that, follow me on TikTok. So I have two trips from Shoppers Drug Mart and two different trips to two different Walmarts. The first two things that I picked up are actually for a, another YouTube video for my full face Milani video. I've been putting that video off for so long and slowly accumulating a lot more products for it just with new launches and stuff. So I picked up a, another one of the Milani, the Make It Dewy setting spray, one of my favorite drugstore setting sprays for like a luminous glowy finish, has a great sprayer. We just like it all around, it's a good one. So I picked up a backup of this so that I could have it in the video. This is going to extend your makeup wear by 16 hours allegedly and also add a nice glowy dew which is what I'm all about. So I picked up that guy and then I also picked up this lip product like an idiot. Brought it home, realized I already had it, the exact same color, the exact same everything in my Milani bin for my video. So this is the Milani Matte Satin Lip Stain, a more satin matte lip cream in the shade 03 Fancy. Clearly I like what I like. I like a mid-tone cool tone pink I'm gonna swatch like everything I can in this video that is what the shade looks like there kind of similar to what I'm wearing now I wear the same lip color variation of the same color every single day you'll probably see 10 nude pinks in this haul so what can I say I like what I like I'm a creature of habit so yeah picked up that that will be going to a friend <laughs> and I'll keep the one that I have two other lip products these are new releases these are the Catrice powerful five liquid lip balms I I was supposed to receive these in PR. I typically receive PR from Catrice. I was supposed to see receive this whole True Bomb line. Never did. So I just went ahead and picked up the two colors that intrigued me the most. So I haven't tried these, but I've heard good things and they look really pretty. So this is Fresh Acai Berry. Again, looks like what I'm currently wearing. This is going to be embarrassing how many products look like they, how many lip products look like they could be currently on my lips but aren't and then this is the peachy what's it called peachy peach no pearly peach um and it's going to be harder to see but it would be gorgeous just on its own or on top of like a nude lipstick is what i was thinking super super fine iridescent shimmers um so yeah excited about these they look really good. I love a good lip product, a good lip balm, lip gloss, all about it. And then the last thing that I picked up from this trip to Shoppers is a refill of my Crest White Strips. I was feeling that my teeth were looking a little yellow. They don't look that yellow on camera, so maybe I'm crazy, but I like having my teeth as white as possible. It's just one of those things. It makes me feel most confident. Um, so I get the Crest 3D White Strips in Glamorous White. These are supposed to get you eight levels of brighter white. Um, 14 treatments. Yeah, these are expensive, but I had a coupon for like triple the points, four times the points, whatever. So now we are moving on to my second trip to shoppers. None of this stuff in here I've tried. I've just had it sitting in the corner of my room. So first thing I got is the Makeup Revolution Glass Skin Primer Ultimate Dewy Finish. Yeah, Ultimate Dewy Finish. This packaging is crazy. Looks crazy on the camera, looks crazy in person. It's like that holographic thing. Um, I've seen good reviews on this. I've been putting it off, like just didn't want to purchase it because I have so many primers, so many glassy, glowy, dewy primers. A lot of my primers are more hydrating or like actually illuminating. They fall into one of those two primer categories. This one it seems a little bit different because it's clear, so there's no actual illuminating particles in there. There's no glitter, there's no shimmer. Um, and I don't think it's super hydrating. It's more just gonna give like that glass skin look, which I'm really into. So yeah, I'll probably do a full video testing out everything from this haul. So let me know if you want to see that, even though not all of this is new new. Makeup comes out so fast that I feel like something's new for like four days and then it's considered old or just not new. So let me know if you want to see that. Next up, I got another pink gloss. This is from Makeup Revolution. This is their Pout Bomb Plumping Lip Gloss with Vitamin E, and I got the shade Kiss. I love a pink gloss. I love a plumping gloss. Um, again, 
looks kind of like I could be wearing it right now, but I'm not. So that is the shade there. Very pretty. Looks like a nice gloss. We will see. Then I restocked two products from Essence. Both of these I have tried and loved, so restocked them, repurchased them. First is the Essence Volume Booster Lash Primer. My absolute favorite lash primer from the drugstore. I did a full face no. I did a full video on TikTok with my top five from Essence and both of these products were in there so I decided to restock. Love, love this lash primer. If you've never tried lash primer, you may as well get this one because it's the cheapest and also as effective as a lot of other ones that I've tried. Um, it's going to lengthen, define, help curl, mainly help with length and definition and like volume. It's just amazing. Highly recommend. And then I restocked the Precise uh, Eyebrow Pencil Micro Precise. This is a 1.5 millimeter slim tip and it is waterproof. I got mine in 01 Blonde, always do. The thing that's most unique about this is the tip. It is as small as like the new Huda brow pencil. I forget what that's called, but that's advertised to be like the smallest eyebrow pencil on the market. I think this one's about the same size, if not smaller. Um, so I like using this for more detailed work. I'll use it on like the tail ends of my brows or the front little fluff bits. And it's amazing. Of course, you could use it to fill in the whole brow, but it's kind of going to be a waste of product if you do that, in my opinion. Um, so I like it more for precision work and it's incredibly inexpensive. Highly recommend. I purchased two products from Quo Beauty, which is Shoppers Drug Mart's in-house brand. One is a repurchase and one is a new purchase. So I got their Liquid Precision Marker, which which is just like their eyeliner felt tip. This is in Espresso 14. I have been loving, if you saw my last video, I'll link it in the eye above. This kind of eye look, like a half box eye, sultry eye with a brown liner. I've been really into it, been doing it pretty much every day, so I picked up another brown liner because I've been going through them like crazy. Love that look, love that Quo formulation. I've used it before and I know I like it. And then they came out with some other newer products. This is the Shilky, Shilky. The Silky Shadow Stick in Elderberry. Um, I feel like a lot of brands have been coming out with this kind of thing, like an eyeshadow pen, eyeshadow stick. I just thought this shade looked really pretty. I love pastel purple. I love all pastels pretty much. So it has a definite shimmer sheen quality to it, which I'm not mad at. I love a good shimmer. Yeah, cute packaging as well. Super simple but I like it. Then I picked up a, another liner. This one is a black though because sometimes I do like to do the black. Same kind of half wing thing but with a black. This is the Milani Stay Put Eyeliner in 01 After Dark. Again, I can use this in my full face Milani video. Super, super creamy, very opaque, very black right there. I like how precise the tip is. It is retractable but it's kind of sharpened or shaped upwards so you can get a little bit of precision and then smoke it out and then the last thing that i got from this trip to shoppers is the physician's formula dewy blush elixir with super fruits and i got the shade pink berry i know this has been out for a while but i'm working on a compilation video for my tiktok ranking cream blush and um, like stick blushes, mousse blushes, that kind of thing from the drugstore. So I figured I need to try all of them. So I think there's one or two more blush, cream blush formulas in this haul. I've been pumping for like a minute and nothing's happening. So I'm just gonna open it up. That's annoying though for like application. Looks like a really like liquidy consistency. Looks kind of similar in consistency to like the Glossier Cloud Paint and the Quo blushes. Looks very similar to that. So that is that there. Super, super fair and light in pigment. We'll see how I like that, but it's a pretty color. It just seems very sheer and lightweight, which isn't totally my thing because you guys know me. I like a heavy blush, so we'll see about that, but it's a pretty color. This bag of Walmart makeup is my most recent. I purchased this like within the last few days, so I have more of a memory on these ones. Um, first up, I got, I'm very excited about this. Let me know if you guys want to see a full video dedicated testing reviewing these. So this is a new launch from Kiss. This is the Lash Couture Lux Extensions Collection, a 3D DIY faux lash extensions kit. And it says that you can apply and remove extensions and they last up to two weeks. So the difference between this and like regular lash extensions is with regular lash extensions, I believe it's a single lash at a time. Whereas this is little clusters. So there's like 
12 lashes on each cluster so let me know if you want to see a full video trying these and I will be happy to do that because I think that would be interesting I'll have to look up and see if these have been out a long time if there's already reviews the next thing that I picked up is a new pair of like a new strip of false nails I have been into the false nail game now since the beginning of COVID so like a year and a half over a year and a half now normally I'll go with kiss or impress kiss is usually my preferred so these are the Vogueish fantasy nails you get 28 nails in the long style typically I like either the long style um, in a square or almond in like a medium but these are square I just thought they were really cute they are like a matte finish which normally I don't like actually I don't really like matte nails in general but I really like the design I thought they were cute very neutral maybe not so summery these are more like fall winter nails but I just really like the colors and they seemed cute and I'd never seen them before I like trying new ones so then I have two more cream liquid blushes both of these again are Milani more stuff that I can put in my Milani video so they have two cream liquid blush formulas that I had never tried before so I figured I needed to for my tip TikTok video. So I picked up the Milani Cream Blush Cheek Kiss in Blushing Berry. They had four shades in this and I just thought this was like the most unique, different than what I typically own um, because I have way too many mid-tone pink blushes. So I decided to try something a little bit different here. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna like this. I really like that color. And then I got the Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush in Pink Flirt 120. I believe this formula came out first and then they just launched those cream ones relatively recently. There's Pink Flirt next to the Berry one. Definitely more sheer and also lighter in color. Interesting, I will share my thoughts on both of these in that TikTok video and also in my Full Face Milani. Then I picked up another blush. It's all blush and lip products with me. That's like blush, lip products, nail lashes that's like what I like at the drugstore anyway so this is the Burt's Bees blush everyone raves about these I don't know why I've never used them I've never purchased them um everyone loves the shade cinnamon cinnamon toast toasty cinnamon something cinnamon Kathleen lights always talks about it this is the pinky shade I ripped off the name with the packaging but it's just like a mid-tone cool pink which is my absolute favorite kind of color to wear I swatched it when I purchased it and it looks really really pretty just like right up my alley there it is there pretty just a basic blush I don't know what compelled me to purchase this after so many years because it's been around forever but I I did I've been into blush not that I'm never not into blush but whatever and then the last thing that I got from this trip to Walmart is a brush from NYX. Um, I don't know about you guys where you live, but my Walmart just installed a huge NYX section. Um, like huge. They have pretty much every product. And they have all of their pro brushes, which is really cool because I don't even think you can get those at Shoppers. At least not near me. And I've been wanting this foundation brush for years and years and years. I don't know why I've just never gotten it because I have a lot of other NYX brushes. I don't know. But Jackie Ina talks about it a lot in her videos. It's her preferred foundation brush. I'm pretty positive this is the right one. If not, then I'll have to get the other one. Anyway, I'll check. But this is the NYX Professional 03, which is like their buffing foundation brush. It is so soft. The NYX brushes are the best quality brushes you can get at the drugstore, hands down. Sephora collection brushes are by far my favorite overall. I would recommend them over anything else, but for the price, um, NYX and like the accessibility, if you don't go to Sephora, whatever. The NYX ones are the next best thing. Super soft, super great quality. The handle's good. So yeah, very excited to have this. It was expensive though. I want to say it was like 25 bucks Canadian, which is kind of a lot for the drugstore, but I've been wanting it forever. So the first thing I have in here is a repurchase for me. So it's not super exciting, but it's my favorite drugstore setting spray ever, ever, hands down. This is the Maybelline Glass Spray Makeup Finishing Spray for Dewy Finish. This will make your skin look like glass. I think it's the best, most unique setting spray at the drugstore, especially if you have dry skin or you like a glowy finish. This is incredible. I like it more than the Milani one. They're definitely my top two, um, but this one beats it out. I just think the formulation is amazing. They really nailed it. Feels like a high-end formula, so 
highly recommend that if you've never tried it. Next up, I have three different like skincare products. First is the COSRX Master Patches Hydro Colloid Dressing Acne Patches. These are my favorite pimple patches ever. They're also very accessible, at least here in Canada. You can get them at Walmart. They're like $4.99 a pack. You get 24. I purchased them on recommendation from James Welsh on YouTube and I really, really love them. So those are my number one pimple patch in case you're interested and then these were on sale i don't know if they're discontinuing them but they were like severely on clearance all of the garnier skin active sheet masks were and i love the whole garnier skin active sheet mask line um hopefully they're just like repackaging or something but i picked up two of their eye masks i like using these when i get ready like for a date or for going out with friends on a normal non-covid world um, so yeah, I just picked up the eye sheet mask moisture balm. This one has orange juice and hyaluronic acid and then the eye sheet mask moisture balm with coconut water and hyaluronic acid. This one fully wraps around the eye area, which I actually think is cool. I think more eye masks should do that because I get really dry skin in here. It's like my number one problem area. So I think that's really smart. And then these ones are just like your typical under eye masks. Um, next up, two pairs of lashes. I, again, talked about these in my most recent video. Again, I will link it above in the eye and down below where I do like my easy everyday foxy eye. These have been the lashes that I use for that. These are repurchases now like three or four times over. I have the Kiss So Wispy Full Bouncy Volume and Curl and the number 11s specifically are my favorite. These look like lash extensions. They look so real and natural but like full and fluttery and pretty. They work really well as a full lash or as a half lash if you want to cut them get doubled use. Incredible. These are hands down my favorite lashes at the moment. And then I've also been loving these for kiss these are the ever easy lashes in the medium combo um little lash clusters so so good i put two clusters on the outer portion of my eye and it gives you like that cat eye super full lash look but it takes two seconds um, so I love those as well. Next, I have three more lip products. Revlon Color Stay Satin Ink. This is the second color that I've purchased in this formula. I'm actually wearing one of them right now. I absolutely love it. Very long lasting, very lightweight on the lips. So this one is more of a nude color in 007 partner in crime looks kind of similar to the one i'm wearing just because this one's faded it's been on for like four hours now and i've blotted and then put on lip gloss so probably the original color isn't really there but i thought a more nude one nude pink would be pretty because the other one's more of a bold pink i forget the name but i'll link both down below um but yeah i really really like this formula very sheer buildable lightweight really long lasting very comfortable i really really like this then i picked up another shade in the maybelline lifter gloss because it's my number one favorite drugstore gloss i have four of them maybe five now this is in 007 amber which is like the classic definitely like a warm tone nude but a nude nonetheless those two would be very pretty together this is a thicker gloss more of like a lacquer but still has that shine but it's really good I love it then I picked up the last lip product is the elf hydrating core lip shine in joyful I can't even tell you why I purchased this I have so many lip products I have so many lip balms but it just looked cute I think it was like the packaging that got me with the little heart in the applicator I don't know that there joyful it's like a pretty peach pink coral I purchased another blush blush and lip products you guys take away my cards like someone help me okay this is the covergirl true blend so flush high pigment blush this is probably my number one favorite blush formula at the drugstore i have all of them now so this was the last one i needed i don't know why i didn't own it because it's a light pink and it's my favorite formula so this is in 320 love me covergirl blush and love me Burt's bees blush similar but this one has a little bit more of like a pop to it I feel can't wait to wear it I know I like the formula I just wanted the color and then the last product that I picked up is a new brow pencil from Milani again another product I can use in my full face Milani video and this is in taupe it is the brow pencil precise point looks really good so I'm excited to use that I've been really into brow pencils and trying new brow products lately so I'm excited for that let me know if you would like to see a full face playing around with all this stuff I don't really have a ton of complexion in here but I'm sure I could 
pull some newer stuff or even like high-end complexion in here just trying out new products get ready with me let me know if you guys would like to see that i will have all of the products that i hauled listed and linked down below as always and i hope that you guys as always have or had an absolutely awesome day and thank you so so much for watching bye